Gotta this is going to be about hey, Sarah's penny. I'm going to make myself another golden real quick. And what are you doing right now? Sanding it. Sanding it. Can I see it? So, so we make it nice and shiny. Zone. That is the first ready step. ready to drop it in? Yeah. Now Sarah has sanded the penny. And she's she going to drop it into a mixture of... Yeah. She's going to drop it into a mixture of zinc hydroxide. Well, excuse me. Powdered zinc with sodium hydroxide. And it's very warm. It's not boiling. It's just very warm. All right. We take the penny and flip it over and make sure it's evenly coated in the zinc and sodium hydroxide solution. We're causing a single replacement reaction to occur where the zinc will replace the copper on the outside of the penny. Now we're removing, we're removing the penny and dropping in some water and then we're going to pull it out. You can just use your fingers. And pat it dry. Yeah, try to wipe off any excess zinc that is on there. Okay. Hey, why do you got so many pennies? Now let's see what we got here. There you go. Now the penny looks like a dime. Some people would say it's silver, but it's zinc, zinc colored, because it's zinc coated. Okay, now we're taking the penny that appears to be silver and heating it. Just keep rotating it. Now the zinc and the copper on the outside of the penny are blending together, and it will appear to be gold. I believe it is actually brass. Hang on, let, let's give it a little more heat maybe up there at the top. Oh, that looks good, yeah. Okay, and cooling it off. And grab it, see what we got. Yeah. Stuff all over my fingers. <laughs> and now we have a gold penny. Good job.